Alright my zillions, this is my review of the Diamond Select Toys Pacific Rim Uprising Gypsy Avenger Gallery PVC Diorama Statue That's a mouthful <laughs> This is in their gallery line uh, This is actually my first gallery piece and this uh, review is brought to you by Diamond Select Toys, so I uh, send them my thanks for sending this one over. You can get this in store right now. Head over to your local comic shop. They should have it. Uh, and I believe you'll probably be able to get it in GameStop as well, uh, since they've had, you know, other uh, gallery pieces here. So, um... This thing is amazing, guys. I've I've had my eyeball on this for quite a bit. Um, I could not wait for them to release this, and I gotta say, it is the uh, crown jewel in their entire line of Pacific Rim Uprising figures. It is just an amazing. I mean, just look at this thing. It is huge. Um, I think from the base up it's about 10 inches and it's just gorgeous uh, so let's stop this turntable and uh, take a closer look let's begin with the base itself it looks really nice you got all this like concrete uh, like <laughs> just kind of peeled out of the ground here broken out of the ground uh, you just got to kind of get a look inside the concrete, and it's really nice, nice texture. Then you kind of go up a little bit. You got some crushed cars here, destroyed in the wreckage. That looks like a police car here. All messed up. Um, really nice, like, dry brushing on this. It looks really good. Then back here, you have a destroyed building, and that looks good as well. Nice gray and, you know, again, a good wash over it or dry brush. I think uh, might be, this is a wash, this is a dry brush. Um, really nice. The building looks good. It's got some nice texture to it. It's also messed up. You can see on this side, the windows are blown out of a lot of pieces. And then over here, you got some pieces kind of jutting up and that's nice detail right there. So really nice base. Bottom is hollow, so, but it works. It's pretty solid, you know? And then this whole piece is pretty solid. It's, it's a nice, heavy PVC plastic. This is not a vinyl statue. This is solid. It's got decent weight to it, actually, so that's pretty cool. Now, going up and down here. Take a look at that. Yeah, it is very, very nice. Look at his feet. Really great sculpt. The dry brushing over the metallic blue looks fantastic. Um, really nice. You got the nice red line here. Nice gunmetal around the knees. Really looks die cast. It almost feels die cast in a way. That's how the, the plastic quality is. It's so solid, so nice. The you know thighs look amazing. I love it. I love the red striping there. Beautiful. I love how this is all messed up on his leg. Whatever is printed there. Uh, over here, you got some numbers are still intact. Really great sculpt here. Really cool. On his backside, you could see some of the gears and stuff working and his knees and his th calves and his upper thighs here looking oh so good. Let's just uh, get finished the uh, back here going all the way up. A really awesome sculpt. Again, you got that dry brushing throughout the entire thing. Really, really makes it. Man, it's awesome. You got some light blues inside here tucked in. You got that light blue again up there. All of this looks awesome, man. <laughs> Such great sculpt work. Beautiful details. Looking at the arm now. Very nice. The shoulder pads. This part, the chain sword here. Looks really good. It's nice solid paint. Silver and gray in the middle. Fists. We can look at this fist. 
looks really good. The armor up here looks really nice. You got some whites and stuff, you know, thrown throughout. Whites and the reds. Beautiful. Look at this elbow. I love this little thing jutting out. That looks great. You get it on this side too. Really nice. This hand looks really good too. The fist is beautiful. Oh man. Let's, you know, close in here. Nice little uh, symbols and stuff there with a little bit of white around it. Looks good. Going down into his chest. More numbering. All looks good. The uh, little blue pieces all over. I love the, that little light blue. It looks great on both sides. Really makes it. The arc reactor here looks very nice, both of them. Um, just done in orange, you know, and then uh, with, you know, that kind of gradiates into yellow. They're good, you know, they're, they're really cool. Uh, I, I do dig them. Somebody was saying that, you know, they wish there was a, a light in here. But I mean, if you put a light in here, that's definitely going to raise the price of this. This is, you know, anywhere between. 40 50 bucks depending on where you get it and um, it, it's big and it's solid and anything else you put in this it, it's gonna it's gonna make the price you know skyrocket so would there be like that that would be awesome maybe DST can um, you know take that and maybe you know want to do something with it down the line I don't know that's not the worst idea but I don't mind uh, not having it either and keeping the cost down um, they did paint everything nicely here anyway so got little lights in there um, that looks cool on his head the the visor in the middle looks pretty nice then the rest of the sculpt work around it looks good got the little light blues that I like got the little yellows which is a different color than this kind of greenish yellow in here red in there beautiful sculpt work I love all this gunmetal up here even the head has that dry brushing so it really looks worn in worldly you know this is just very nice and the proportions of Gypsy is just phenomenal so beautiful um, I, I just I really can't say enough about how amazing this is this is you know um, this is the best Gypsy Avenger that we've gotten, hands down, from anybody. Just incredible. Um, I, I really, really love it. It's awesome. There's no articulation here, so um, I don't need to talk about that. These two move a little bit. I don't know why. Um, I wouldn't mess with it too much. Um, I don't know if they're glued down or whatnot, and I don't, I don't want to mess with it too much. Um, they are a bit of a softer plastic, the shoulder pads, as well as these back pieces. I could feel them a little softer than everything else. Oh, and these these pieces here. Not on this side. Eh, yeah, maybe on top. This one is definitely softer, so be careful. They're probably like glued in, and you don't want to mess it up. But man, this is amazing. So let's do an up and down once again. So you could capture all the beautiful details. So gorgeous. So yeah. That's pretty awesome. For the size comparisons, we're going to keep it in the gypsy family here. Uh, starting with the deforms, the little deforms. Uh, gypsy Avenger there. Kind of the same pose. You know, same company, which is kind of cute. Moving up the size scale, we got the Robot Spirits Gypsy Avenger. A NECA Gypsy Danger, the Diamond Select Gypsy Avenger. So you can see, you know, between their two Gypsy Avengers, you know, you're getting higher up here and you got a lot more level of detail and clean detail on this one. Get into the bigger boys. Here's the Slubin Brick Gypsy Avenger. And finally, the Soul of Chogokin Gypsy Danger. And I, I'm gonna find a way to get these guys next to each other because I just really like how they look together. Uh, I think if this dude was articulated and off here, he'd be the same height as this, uh, which is pretty, pretty awesome. And my final thoughts, if you are a Pacific Rim fan, you need to go get this right now. It is 
amazing. It is the best representation that we've gotten for Gypsy Avenger in toy form. Yes, it's a statue, it's a collectible, but I mean, for your shelf, you're not gonna get better than this. This looks absolutely fantastic. I mean, just look at it one more time, guys. It's it's a pure work of art. I absolutely love this thing. Um, yeah, uh, DST, you guys outdid yourselves, and I really want to thank you once again for sending this over. Um, oh, man. It's in stores now. Go get it. Go check it out in your local comic shop. Uh, yeah, it's well worth the price, guys. Well worth the price. All right, guys, and that is my review. Hope you dug it. Let me know your thoughts below. Check me out on Facebook and Instagram. Buy me a coffee on coffee. Till next time, peace out, peeps.